Hey guys, Final Master Link here. Of course, Frog is immediately here, waiting for me to start. Naturally, a frog has hopped into the stream already. That might be... <laughs> I don't even think it was 10 seconds when you left a message there, Frog. How you doing? Yeah, I know you were looking forward to this shit. I was actually just trying to look up a, um, like a video walkthrough or something. Because I don't know where the fuck to go in these sewers. I'm lost and shit. Um, I didn't bother grinding any levels or anything from last stream, so I'm still level 26. From the video stuff that I was watching online, uh, I seem I should be about that level though for this area. It's just I I don't know where the fuck I'm going. Going to heal up again, get in there again. Funky got lost too. Well, I mean, when he streamed this, um, when Funky streamed this, didn't he play this game when he was much younger? So he has first. He already has first-hand experience on where to go. I, I, I basically just playing it by, you know, the seat of my pants. Like, I'm, I'm pretty damn sure I hit all the switches I needed to hit down here. I just don't know where to go. It's pissing me off. Because I don't want to have to fight these guys a bunch. There was a trick to it. I'll have to look. I'll try to look up an actual, like, uh. I don't suppose there's an actual, like, map of this place online, is there? Like, an actual illustrated map? Because that would be pretty fucking handy. But yeah, how you doing, Frog? I'm sure you're happy that, uh, I'm sure you're happy it's not Astroneer, it's, it's, a uh, good boy Lunar up. Lunar's up to bat. Alright, let's go ahead and look at this. I'll tell you what, I really could've used a beer tonight. I don't know why a beer just started dying. Uh, I've, uh, I've decided, I was talking to my sister earlier today, I think I'm actually gonna visit my, uh, I think I'm gonna visit my mom in Indiana this weekend. Probably Saturday. So, that should be fun, right? Because, uh, I have a feeling even though I have some job aspects going on right now, I might not even be hired until next year just because of the holidays and shit like that. There was this one place in Selena uh, that called me when I woke up today, and it was a it was actually a graphic design position that I applied for. So good to know that they're um, that they eyed me now, which is interesting because this place I applied to them like a year or so ago, and they didn't give a fuck, apparently. But I guess since since I got a little bit more under my belt, they they actually give a rat's ass. Okay, so. So where's the start? Okay, and yeah. And I want to go down. 10 and 11 is there. Okay, and then there should be an entrance to the boss. Okay. Huh. So I need to go down again. Did the link help? A little bit. I have a little bit better idea about what's going on. So the the switches are color coded and will open up the same colored bridge once it's plugged on. Bridges will remain triggered even if the party leaves. However, monsters will also appear in the meantime. The mask is received after the boss. Okay, well I remember seeing those two chests with the starlight. I don't remember a. Uh, I don't remember a passage being there, though. Well, hold on. Take care of that, uh, grub foot there, or whatever. That gun foot, whatever. Whatever it's called. You 
getting a drink. All right, frog. I'm tempted to just get a frozen pizza tomorrow for dinner, honestly, but I, I really should eat those um, those hamburgers Dodge that I still this. have. Because I know they're... Huh. It always seems like whenever I go to the store, like the, the best buy date for like these packs of these hamburgers or whatever, it's always like two or three days, like of the day that I'm actually going to the store. So it has me a little bit worried. I mean, I could just cook I just I, I could just cook them all tomorrow and then just put some in a packaging and then eat the rest for like lunch on Saturday. I might do that. It's probably a wise idea. Wait, I'm, I'm thirsty tonight. I've been drinking water. Where's my water actually? Must have put it in a different room. There's a bottle. Oh, there's water in here. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit of water. Any bit of water. So, I should be going down here. Down here. Kill this guy. Seven energy now. Cool. Squall morphs into Tempest. Neat. Neat. Monfire gain that level also. He's 27. Hey, you're unemployed. You need the money. I mean, having anything come in is better than nothing. Yeah, for sure. Wait a sec. Um... Is this correct? Maybe I... Oh no, oh okay, this, is this it? This must be it. Yeah. Because it has the two chests there, I, and I'm damn sure those were uh, starlights, so... Let me save before I get in. Okay, is... Yeah, this must be it. Okay. Great. Thank fuck. Let's see, did I have a voice for this masked guy? That, that mask! It's the one that... Well, well, gee. Have you taken to associating with trash like this on a regular basis? I'm disappointed in you. After all, you are my best and brightest student. It's such a shame you left as you did. Now, you will pay the ultimate price. Okay, I guess we're fighting his goonies here. We're fighting assassins. What's the streaming plan for tomorrow? Uh... Well, so from like 8 to 3 p.m., 
Uh, I'm actually not going to be streaming at all. I'm going to be playing old school RuneScape. Uh, there's a clan mate that's going to do like a kind of a, like a learning session for a certain boss. And uh, one, I actually enjoy the boss, so maybe I can finally get a group to, to fight him. Um, and two, it's uh, the boss actually has pretty good rewards. Like, worth kind of a lot. So, maybe we'll get lucky or something, I don't know. I don't even know how many people are going to be there to, to like learn the boss or, or even be available. But I thought it might be neat, you know. So, um... As for after that, I don't know if Dragon wanted to. If Dragon wanted to play a bit of uh, fucking. Uh, Astroneer afterwards for a bit until I ate dinner, I guess I'd be alright with that. But yeah. Use the butterfly dance on these three. Now let's use burning, burning rain on them. Well, apparently they're not weak against it. Gypsy magic! At least I poisoned them. That's good. God, these bitches hit hard. I guess that's why they're assins. They're, they're part of. They're part of the Brotherhood of Asinin. Damn, they just knocked Gene the fuck out. God damn, bro. Mega Magic Flame! 20 effect, 24 hour stream, 24 hour est Estranier stream, what? I was saying when I'm done with my RuneScape thing tomorrow, if you wanted to play Astroneer until dinner, I wouldn't be opposed to it. God, these bitches. Well, this is exactly why I, uh... Just saved real... Real quick. Yeah, these guys have a lot of fucking armor on them. Mega magic flame! Can, I, can I not even kill a single one here? No? Wait, what? Oh, they're poisoned. I was like, what, what, ha what happened there? What happened? Fuck, use Vortex. Like, deal some damage out. Fuck. I doubt you can even get that Burning Rain off, but... Oh, wait, does that Freeze Claw attack? Okay, that hurts. So let's try to do that before we die. There's something. Fuck. Woman is dead. Any looter in the evening win. tomorrow? I suspect Dragon is addicted. Uh, yeah. He's fucked in the head. In fact, I think I just saw this thing pop Happy up. Hour. He's playing it right now. Let me check. No, he actually isn't playing it right now. Not according to Steam. Although I think he's kind of uh, jaded today because the game like killed him a couple times for no reason. Yeah, use Vortex again. Use Calm Lightning to keep us alive. I'm kinda glad I poisoned them though, that was pretty sick. Okay, one's dead, that's good at least. Happy hour. Yeah, happy hour. Yeah, you, you just keep healing Ron Far. Keep using Vortex, I don't give a fuck. And he's down! Fuck. Yeah, we're probably gonna lose here. Nice challenging win. boss fight. Well, I didn't think they'd be so thick. And then one keep, <laughs> one or two of them keep becoming fucking Super Saiyans too. Like he's like charging his key and shit. It's fucking nuts. The only thing Hero has uh, on everybody else is he actually has, like, the best de defense. Like, instead of these guys hitting for, like, 20s or 30s, he's hitting for, like, they're hitting, like, for teens. 
Oh shit. Uh, actually, couldn't I just use a fucking, um... Yeah, healing nut? He's probably gonna knock me out before, yeah. Oh well. Let's, let's prepare for that a little bit better. Little bit. You playing Star Control tomorrow? The frog will be working. He will be. Oh no, Friday's actually your day off, frog? Huh. Alright, so... How do we not fucking suck so bad? Um... I mean, I, I guess the best thing would be to just to, to take them out individually instead of as a group. Like, just four people focus on one dude at a time and maybe we can get each down, like, every turn or something. Like, that's the only thing I could think of. That mask! It's the one that... Well, well, gee... Have you taken to associating with trash like this on a regular basis? You're gonna have a star control party. I'm disappointed in you. After all, you are my best and brightest student. It's such a shame you left as you did. Do you have a grocery pick up at 1 p.m.? You will pay the Be back by 2.15 or so. Alright, so... Oh. This Tempest thing, we just, we just learned this then, huh? Well, is that more powerful than the Poe Sword, or...? Let's find out. Let, let's just try to target one individual, I, I guess. I, mean, I kind of like the idea of poisoning all of them. Like, that sounds pretty cool. What is this? Oh, Dispelled Magic. Well, I'm trying to think, like, would Ice Pick on one person, even though that's lower MP, would that be better than using Freeze Claw to hit everybody? I wasn't paying attention to how much damage Freeze Claw did to everything, so... But yeah, let's poison three out of those guys at least. That'll be that'll be amusing. Stop picking on Jean, you stupid cunts. I guess they're jealous because she was the favorite. Okay, so 144 you hit him for? That seems pretty decent. I still don't have any idea how much HP these dudes have. Okay, so at least two thirty damage I did. What does Ice Pick do? Kill him, kill him. Damn, they have a lot of HP, dude. Um, try using Post Sword. I doubt you're gonna be able to heal Jean before she's down, but. I suppose I could... No, I can't paralyze any. Can I confuse them? Because that'd be cool. I can't put them to sleep. Butterfly Dance is the only thing that works. Fine, fuck it. Whatever. Gypsy magic! At least I could poison that last guy there. There we go. They're all poisoned now. Fuck them. There goes Jane. Okay, so one is down now. Happy hour. Fuck off with your karate moves, bro. I'm just glad they're poison. That's the only like good thing because that hits them for 55 each. 
Oh, fuck it. Let's see what Tempest does. I don't even care. I'm, I'm gonna get knocked out anyways. These guys hit too hard that I can't out-heal. Can I use a healing nut maybe on Ronfar? Lemina, you... Fuck it. Try the Freeze Lance. I don't know. It, it, it don't matter. We're probably fucked. Yep, there was Ronfar going down. Fuck! Win. 90 and 91? That, yeah, that's not good enough. What does Ice Lance do? 99. Shit. Um. Oh! Oh my god, there's only two left. Oh shit. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, well, you defend. Because you're probably going to get knocked out. If, yeah, otherwise. Finish this last one off, bro. Dodge this. Oh! What up, bitch? Half my party's dead, but I don't give a fuck. They died. And I don't know how, but Jean gained a level, even though she was knocked out. Or no, no, she still has 5 HP. I don't know how she has 5 HP, but okay. Lemon gained a level, nice. Ice pick morphs into ice arrows. Hell yeah, I did it. Kind of barely, though. Not, not bothering to poison them next time. Just use Jean's more powerful dance. Yeah, for sure. Use Ronfar's other dice moves if I lost. Uh, I mean, he doesn't have that many other I uh, dice moves. Proud to see that you all still remember all that I taught you. But since you, but since you must face me, we both know that I will use the sh the Shadow Dragon Fist to rip out your beating heart. Shut up! Hiya! Uh oh, my mask. Of course, it's Master Lon. Like you're not fooling me. Stupid game. Master, run, why do you run from your student? Come back and fight. Ha ha ha. If you really believe you have a chance against me, come to the town of Haram. The Tournament of Death will be the most suitable form for your humiliating defeat, child. Your death will demonstrate the strength of the Shadow Dragon Fist to the world. I'm looking forward to our reunion, Gene. Ha ha ha. Whatever. This mask. If we take this mas mask to Master Lun and show it to him, maybe we can earn his trust. And once he trusts us, I'm sure he'll be willing to help us. You know, there's something strange about the masked man. Was it his voice? Anyway, let's go see Lun. We don't have much time to waste. Hey, look, children. We saved the children's. He reminds you of that Karate Master on Futurama with Leela. Oh yeah, the one that, that, that says that, like, she can't be a warrior because she's a girl or something. Yeah, he was a prick. I'm glad she kicked his ass. Are all of you okay? Good. We're going to take you back to Tabin's Peak with us. Thanks, but we have to get back to Tabin's Peak before our leader gets worried. See you later. Wait up, we want to see your leader too. Shoot, they're gone. Kids today have no attention span. Didn't they hear you say we were going to Tabin's Peak? I hope they'll be okay, hero. The way they went out isn't the way we came in. Come on, let's go. Okay. Uh, gee, everyone's super weak right now. Let's heal them up. I'm just glad I pulled it off somehow. I, I could see how that fight could really fuck up some people. 
they're just fucking relentless. Like, they easily did, like, uh, 70 damage per combo. Okay, ba oh, big surprise. This uh, other side leads to the bottom of Master Lun's dojo. Oh, man, I am in the deepest of, deepest of Pumiris. That wall just got smashed down with a bunch of kids came swarming out of here. Where in the world did they come from? Gee, I wonder. Uh, I assume we can talk to the master then. Who I still assume is uh, what's his nuts? Uh, the mask dude. Master Lun was summoned to Pentagulia by the goddess, so we won't be back for a long time. Is there something I can help you with in the meantime? Uh. No, I guess not. We decided to just fuck off. Yeah, whatever. I guess we should just go to Tappet's Peak, I guess. Amazed they didn't make any fisting jokes with Gene. Oh boy. I don't even know how to comment about that. Funnel the statue. Uh, yeah, let's go to let's go back to Tabin's Peak then. Um uh, I only plan on going for a couple hours just so you guys know. Not because it not because I have to go to sleep at like 11 o'clock or anything. In fact, as of now, it seems like I go to bed at like 1.30. Which is something I should probably try to destroy, habit-wise. Oh wow, we actually have over 10,000 silver now? That's pretty cool. 10k silver! Oh yeah, there's that gondola still here, right? So we don't have to climb it the other way, good. Suppose you guys want to ride in the gondola. You realize this is an amusement park, don't you? I mean, it, this place could be, it could be an amusement park, I'm just saying. of park for children only. Huh. Only kids under 16. That's all that's allowed at this park, bitch. I'm very impressed. You rescued all the kidnapped dragon kids. The truth is, I didn't think anyone could save them. It was simple. My hero is a great leader and a master of strategy. My hero? Huh. You're at least 100 years too young to know what love is. What are you snapping at me about? My feelings for hero have nothing to do with you. Don't you think that your feelings are most inappropriate for a red dragon? Of all the nerve, listen here, Nal, because I'm going to call you some very nasty thi- Hey! You called me a red dragon! But I never told you I was one, so how did you know? I, uh... It was a lucky guess, that's all. Why don't you all come inside? I have something to tell you. I'm actually a dragon. Oh, and, uh, yeah, Lucia's still up here, right? By the way, have, have, you, have, have, have any of you thanked Hero and his friends for what they did? I didn't think so. How many times do I have to ask you to display good manners? Thank you all very much for saving us. You must be very strong to beat up the, sh the Shadow Dragon Cult. Aren't you scared of the cult? We want to hear about how you beat them. Please tell us. Calm down, you guys. They can't talk to you all at once. One question at a time, okay? No, have you seen Lucia? Nah. She was just here, so she couldn't have gone very far. Why don't you go find her and let these kids calm down a bit? Well, hopefully she's singing a fucking lullaby. I would think she would have learned one by now, being with all these kids. Kids, let's play Pin the Cash on Lemina. Smash your piggy banks and let's get started. What? None of you have any money? I think you all deserve an allowance, starting today. Bitch. When I look at these kids, I'm reminded of my childhood and the Shadow Dragon Cult. 
I'll never let what happened to these children... I'll never let what happened to me happen to these children. Never. Never. What's the matter, Chief? Don't you want to find Lucia? I'll bet she's been waiting for you. And she must have been wiped out from playing with all these hyperactive tots. Uh, yeah, for sure. Like, they're just... Uh, but boy. Kids are... a pain. All you need is a creeping, creeping, creepy clown. Yeah. I mean, maybe we could get a uh, Kefka into this franchise, and he could really freak him the fuck out. I'm going the wrong location. Uh, I believe it's this one. Yeah. Da 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 da. La la la. That voice. Yeah, it sounds pretty sexy, doesn't it? I wonder who that could be. You better give me an anime cutscene now. La 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 I agree, Luna was better. Oh, hello, Hero. Oh, wow, she's actually blushing. That's cute. You were singing. Yes, these children taught me. I didn't know you had such a, such a good voice, Lucia. I bet Hero's surprised, too. I should have known her voice was as beautiful as she is. God, what a goober. Yeah, I was surprised, all right. So which of you Rugrats taught her to sing? I did, I did. I told her that she can't be a mommy unless she knows how to sing a lullaby. Hey everyone, who was singing just now? I was, Jean. You're good, Lucia. I mean, very good. Lucia, you are mega fibbing when you said you didn't know what a song was. Little darlings seem to be very attached to you, Lucia. Or is it the other way around? I only sang because they asked me to. But I continued to sing because I enjoyed it. When I sing, I feel a uh, warmth inside me. It's unlike anything I've felt before. Giggity. We should be leaving. Okay. Yeah, let's go. I, I still don't get, like... Like, they have voice acting able in the game. And I I've heard, like, actual singing from PlayStation games before. So I don't understand why, like, the beautiful singing is just... La, 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 I don't... Like, you can speak words. You know what I mean? I, I don't get why they didn't go with that. It don't make sense to me. I'm better than Lucia, too. I, I was trying to get, like, the first half of the La 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 thing that, that, uh, that Luna does. But yeah, she's definitely better than, uh, Lucia, for sure. But I, I don't get why they do the La 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 shit. I, I, don't, I really do not understand that. Like, I'd expect that kind of shit... I'd expect that kind of shit on, like, say, a Super Nintendo game, or... Or, uh, uh, like Genesis. But I'm pretty sure even on Sega CD when this first came out, you know, and or Sega Saturn, they, they could have had, like, an actual, you know, actual dialogue there. But whatever. Uh, yeah, I think we want to talk to you again. 
You went to a lot of trouble to rescue the dragon kids from the Shadow Dragon Cult. I swear I'll find a way to pay you back. Oh, what, that's it? Okay, I guess we're gonna fuck off now. I thought you were gonna talk about him more, but whatever. A what? Hey, wait up! I heard that you were headed to the holy city of Pentagulia to find the goddess Althena. I want you to have these before you go. It's the least I can do to thank you for all your help. Oh, we have the white dragon wings from Nal. Gee, I wonder why he would have it. Huh. Actually, it would kind of make sense that he would keep it all these years. This gizmo has the power to transport you out of any cave and back to the surface. You can use you can use them as many times as you want, and they never run out of magic. Cool, huh? Just remember that they might not work if you're someplace with strange magic in the air. Oh, I almost forgot. I had the dragon kids remove the barricade on the road to Vane. Be careful on your travels, and come back here if you need any more help. Hey, Ruby, try to remember that you're a red dragon. And try to let go of your obsession with Hero. It's not healthy for either of you. Take care, everyone. I mean, yeah, he would know. I mean, his... Hmm. Nal needs to keep his nose out of my business before I bite it off. Come on, Hero, let's hit the road. Yeah, I, th I think what Nal's saying is pretty good advice. I I can't even imagine the heartache he was having when, uh... Oh, I should have taken the gondola. When uh, his uh, friends, you know, passed away or what have you. I mean, I don't know how I don't know how old dragons can be in this game, but I, if I had to guess, maybe like a thousand or so years. I don't know. Yeah, we'd love the ride. Remember the opera scene in FF6? Yes, I do. Um, that was acceptable because of the technology on that of that system at the time. In fact, I don't even think there was an audible la la la. I think it was just like. Like, it was just a bunch of, like, sound bites. But yeah, that opera scene was pretty cool in 6. I enjoyed that. Okay, I found the statue, Althena. I guess let's go to Vane or whatever. I'm still interested in what Vane is now. Uh, I would expect it to be a fucking dump. Like, you know, maybe full of, like, robbery. You know, like, crappy-looking crappy looking roads and towns and that's why maybe Lemina is obsessed with uh, with uh, getting money to help the economy. Come on everybody, we're almost a vein, aren't you excited? And I want you to warn you that the city might not might, might look a bit run down, but that's just until we get the magic guild up and running. And my mother will be very happy when I show her that I brought her four new, new recruits. Carol, when are you going to tell Lemina we're not planning to, on joining the guild? We don't have to tell her yet, Ruby. I don't want to ruin our chance at checking out Vane. What are you two whispering about? Magic Guild recruits aren't allowed to keep secrets. Okay. Here's a non-secret. Uh, you're about to get butt-fucked. How about that? She'd be, hell, if you gave her a couple thousand silver, she'd probably be up for a butt-fucking. Crazy bitch. So, okay, there's like... Okay, there's like a magic circle. Oh, this is where Vane fell, right? Yeah. The floating thingy. Oh, I, okay, I guess it has its, uh... Wow, this place is kind of, uh... Fucked, isn't it? There's not even any water on the side of this shit now. It is fucking awesome. I know, right? Lemina! Oh, Lemina, thank the goddess you're, you've come back. We're in big trouble. Big trouble? What are you talking about? Did you lose your purse again? No, no, no. I use a wallet these days, anyway. I'm talking about Borgen. He's come to Vane. Borgen, the evil tub of lard with more rolls than a bakery? Oh, goodness. The very same. He said he had important business to discuss with your mother. We tried to stop him and the group of magicians, ma magicians he brought along, but they were too strong. They stormed to the mansion of the guild and haven't come out since. Oh no, mother! Wow, just shove that bitch aside. As servants of the Most High Master Borgen, we cannot allow anyone to intervene. 
Borgen has decreed that no one shall leave, enter or leave until his, he completes his business here. And what business is he doing? Number one or number two? Get out of my way, you morons. Halt, who are you? You don't know who I am? You really are simpletons. I'm Lady Lemina, Junior Premier of the Magic Guild of Aid. Now if you'd be so kind as to get the heck out of my way. Oh, Junior Premier of the Magic Guild? Your little title means nothing to us, little girl. Morgan has decreed that none shall enter, and we are here to enforce that edict. Step back. I'm vexed. I'm terribly vexed. I know much more about fame than you ever will, and I'll find a way to get in. And when I do, I'm going to make sure that you're very, very sorry. Okay, guys, listen up. There's a spring of transmuta transmutation. Jesus. This is full metal alchemist. There's a spring of transmission just to the south of here. If it still works, we can use it to enter the vein behind the backs of these bozos. If we pull this off, I'll point all of you as Magic Guild's advisory board. Well, hero, do we cast our lot with Bondi? We don't really have a choice, Ruby. Tell us what to do. That's why I like you, hero. You don't want to let me take charge of the situation. Alright, everyone, let's head to the spring. Like they say, time is money. Uh, could you explain what that thing has to do with anything that's going on here? Magic. That's why. Magic. Read the, co read the comment before that. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to read that. In the, remas in the remaster, they have an actual voice singing for FF6? You talking about the pixel remaster for FF6? That sounds cool. Yeah, I need to get that at some point. That, that's probably how I'm going to stream that game, honestly. Like, I'd like to do it through the console, but... For all I know, that game's gonna fuck up again, and I'm gonna be super pissed. Yeah, fuck that fat fuck. Exactly. Fuck that fat guy. Borgen already... Borgen even sounds like a fat dude's name. It, it really does. Let's go to the spring here. Spring of transmutation. Ah, oh, Lemina, I'm so glad you've come to visit. What brings you to the, tr to the Spring of Transmission? You wish to use it? I'm afraid it has, has laid dormant for many years. I doubt that it works anymore. Well, fuck. In the days before Galleon, the magic city of Vane floated high above the Earth. The only way to get there was via the Spring of Transmission. Fortunately, it still works. We're going to use the Spring as our, our very own private back door into the magic city. I, Lemina, Junior Premier of the Magic Guild, Daughter of Myria, shall call upon the Ancient Power. Awaken from your deep sleep and open the pathway to Vane. Ha! Mega Magical, it worked! Okay. I'm sure the guy standing there was like, Holy fucking dick shits, it's worked! Have you figured out why she wants money? Uh, yeah, because Vane is a fucking dump. And I would imagine she needs money to help facilitate the, uh, the, the state of the city. Like, to keep it, like, floating in air. Like, away from enemies and shit. This is the Cave of Trial. In the old days, it was used as an exam of sorts. It separated those who were worthy to join the guild from those who weren't. Anyway, that's ancient history. We need to get moving. But be careful, I don't know what kind of freaks might be lurking in this creepy cave. What, you mean like, bad guys, right? I mean... I mean, there are other people here taking the trial in the first game. I kind of like this, um... I kind of like this retreading certain uh, places from the first game. It's kind of cool. But yeah, I, I was not a huge, huge fan of this cave in the first game, honestly. Also, there's a lot of shit that's blocked off now. Goddamn. I mean, at least, uh... We got Giga Wasps and Death Rooms. That's just lovely. I 
might have to switch to a different uh, staff for, for Blondie here. I don't know if Lightning is going to be effective against these kind of enemies. I have Lucia back in my party, she can maybe do something sometimes. Okay, she's thrown out a lightning bomb at least. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Fall of Aid was an awesome cutscene. It was pretty sick, no denying that. Yeah, the past, you know, uh, ten or so hours, I, I haven't really seen, uh, I haven't really seen any cool cutscenes, anime style. I'm assuming they're just save it for the really juicy bits, especially for like disc three or disc uh, disc two. So holding out, holding on to hope. But instead of the thunder staff, why don't you have the flame staff on you? Maybe that'll help. They're saving it for that one sex scene. Uh, between who and who, Dragon? Because most of these characters are minors, except for Lucia. She's probably a couple centuries old at least. Now Jean, I mean, she's technically underage, but like... You know. Ron Fars 45, remember? Well, if it's a gay sex scene, I don't want to watch that shit. That's fucking nasty. I'm, I'm st it still blows my mind he's that old and he's adventuring and shit. Like, what the fuck, dude? Define underage. Um... Under the legal age of consent in the United States of America, nationwide. That's what I have to define as underage. So there. <laughs> Frog's like, this is the fucking moon! There is no law on the fucking moon! Think, you, you think they got FBI on the moon? On the moon? FBI! <laughs> Jeez. I imagine there's some uh, decent treasures here. I just need to locate them. You know what? Fuck it. Let's see if Vortex does pretty good damage against these guys. Fuck! We're about to knock Ron Far out, you stupid butterfly thing. Ferocious God damn. Wind. Stupid reject butterfree? Eat a dick. Well, there goes Ron Far. Couldn't even heal anybody. Fuck. This game sucks! I'll take care of this. Should be able to finish these guys off though. We'll just have to heal uh, after the battle. So under 14 in Alabama. I was talking about the whole nation, dude. I keep telling you that each state has its own age of consent, but you don't listen, lol. Okay, whatever. I've never once seen a 14-year-old and been like, oh man, she's developed all right. It's never happened. Not even when I was 14. Like, I, I never I never thought that. Let's 
see, there we go. Everyone's even Steven. Uh, I know there's a there's a staircase there. I'm convinced there's a chest down here. You know me, I gotta have them chests everywhere. Go down here. No? Oh, there isn't a chest. Okay, I guess they made the tr test trial cave, like, super shorter. Because a lot of the caves are actually blocked off by these rocks and shit. Alright. I mean, that's fine. Mosey on up here. Let's save since it's another floor. <laughs> Obviously never been to New York City. No, I have not, Frog. No, I have not. <laughs> I don't even want to have. I don't even want to imagine how much they like. You know what I mean? Like sex themselves up and shit. You've seen some 14-year-old that looked like they were 25. There's one cutscene in the end that kicks ass. Okay. Cool. Looking forward to it. Surprise Dragon's actually in the stream. I, I would think he'd be fucking smithing in RuneScape or some shit. I know he was doing that earlier today when I was fucking around with this uh, assessment thing. But yeah, Frog, uh, I only have two dice moves on Ronfar still. I have the Destiny dice and the Anger dice. I guess there's a third one unlocked at some point. Because there's a space right before the Light Litany shit, which steals HP from enemies. I should try that, actually. Screw it. Using the butterfly dance on butterflies. How metal is that? Let's get this party started. Oh, wow. I actually got over 120 uh, MP uh, HP from that. That's kind of a good move, then. Okay. Huh. What makes me think that you're not not smithing in RuneScape right now? Nothing much. Because you got time to talk. There are other crests that confer more magic. Should have used it on the assassins. Oh well. Still made it like a fucking badass. As usual. Where the hell are the chest? There's got to be at least one or two mm. chests. Come on, game. Mm. I see a bunch of stupid enemies around here still. Uh, I guess we'll kill the ball thing here, or whatever it is. I'm gonna destroy these balls. What the hell is that thing? A bat knight? Uh, okay. And that thing looks fucking weird. So it's got, so it's like a, a bat sort of thing. It's like an orb with like a, like an imp tail and bat wings. And it has, like, an uh, electric unicorn horn on it. And it has, like, uh, a helmet. Like a knight, I guess. What a fucking weird concoction. Probably use a post sword on it. Oh, that's not, that's not weak against that. Oh, fuck. Yeah, use vortex. I don't even care. Swarm dance on that bucket. Yeah, burning rain. Who cares? Gypsy magic. Trying to get your jacket on. You think there's a bromide in here? No oh, shit. Uh, I still wind. have that thing open. Uh, 
there's one in the epilogue. Oh, okay, yeah. There is one in Ancient Vein here. Uh, we get that from reading a book. Reading a book, second to the last row, eastmost shelf in the library. So that's not until the actual uh, city itself, Rog. But yeah, we'll look out for that. Oh, shit, there's actually one at the transmission spring. Well, I assume he's always there, so... Yeah, there's a the guy with the pitchfork, I remember. Apparently had a bromide for, uh... For Mia. Must be a pretty old one if it's for Mia, goddamn. I don't wanna... I don't wanna fight all these enemies, but I feel like there's gonna be a boss or some shit. Lamina's bromides are the cutest. I mean, probably she is the youngest. I mean, I mean, Jean definitely has the sex factor going on, the sexy factor, you know, dancing and shit. And I imagine her being kind of like, like tall with like slender legs. I don't know. That's just how I envisioned her. I mean, I know there was a cutscene of, of when she was first like dancing and shit. In the back. Stop hitting Jean, you stupid butterfly bitches. Fucking jerks. It'd kind of be nice if I could have upgraded some shit before coming here, but I. Pretty damn sure Moribia did not have any substantial upgrades to buy. Weapon wise or armor wise, so I guess I'm bone. Fight that fly, mm -hmm. yep, sure enough. Here we go, Wasp. Uh, might as well just use Vortex on it. I don't really have the. Well. I'm kind of half thinking there might actually be a boss at the end of this place, but. Maybe not. Cause I'm trying to think. I know there's a boss in Lunar One at the end of like the trial. Don't remember what it was though. I'll take care of this. Way to go, Lucia. Made a magic barrier when there's only like two butterflies left on the field. Lucia must have a goddamn IQ of 160. I feel like a level should be coming up here. Could be wrong. There's a mushroom there. I don't. I don't. There probably isn't a chest over there, I doubt it. So fuck it. Moving on. Oh, 
Okay, what is this, level three now? I hope I'm not missing any crests. I should probably have another, uh... I should probably have another, um... page opened up for the crest of this game. Because, uh, let's see, I have... I have the Earth Crest. I have Earth Crest, uh, Snake, Power, Shiro, and Dream. So what is that, five? Yeah, five of them. Okay, we got an eye creature up ahead. Get better. I mean, this passage is really short. There's already the staircase right there. God damn. Alright, fuck that eye thing. Ah, oh, mushy. Guess we're gonna fight him. Should probably conserve this a little bit more. Yeah. Well. I, mean, I do have star lights for a reason. Eh, screw it. Why not? Butterfly dance up in this beach. I just noticed it took me a while, but using the butterfly dance, like the little particles that fly around the the enemy, they're actually shaped by they're actually wind. shaped like little butterflies. I always thought it looked like confetti or something. Guess I just uh, wasn't paying attention. I mean, to be fair, they they're colored like confetti. Oh, that was kind of a waste of a AoE move. Whatever. Whatever. I'm still awesome. Alright, do that save. Okay. Yeah, I knew that thing was going to catch up to me. Guess we're fighting uh, the Bat Knight again, or whatever it's called. Yeah, Bat Knight. All right, fuck it. Oh. What hurts him again? Okay, ice can hurt him. For some reason, that horn, like, on top of the thing's head, it makes me think of, like, a Rhydon, because it always has a horn on top. Which, if I recall right, the abilities in Pokemon games for Rhydon usually has the horn absorb thunder. Absorb, uh, absorb electric-type moves. Which, that could be a pretty good combo in a double battle. Oh, wow, that did a shit ton of damage. Okay, 300 damage or some nonsense. Yeah, lightning bomb the fuck out of that butterfly. Kill you, kill you. That's a dead end. That looks to be a dead end over there. Let's use a... So glad I got these herbs. 
anyone close to a level up? Uh, Hero and Ronfar kind of are, about 1,300 away. Okay. Big 28. Almost be my age then, shit. Uh, pretty much as I thought, there's butt fuck nothing down here. Okay. Upper left we go, I guess. It's a lot of wasps. Yeah, how these fuckers hit twice. Ferocious wind! Yeah, ferocious. Get fucked. I'll take care of this. Like a power Here's charge for somebody there, Lucia. Extra attack doesn't really matter, but whatever. Uh, are we about out of here? Let me save just before I go up the stairs, just in case. Still love the fact you can save everywhere. Like that is pretty dope. Okay, even more of this shit. The fuck? There are no enemies here. Uh, that's probably a sign of danger. Stranger danger! A herb on you. Herb on you. Herb on you. Oh, there's a chest there. Here, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't even be in the cave of trial. So keep your grubby paws off the treasure chest, alright? Bitch! Now that deserves a slap right there. It's like, you didn't say anything about any other chest that I was trying to grab, including jeans. So it's like, Get off my dick! I'll have to get it later. Okay, yay, we're here. Thank fuck. Lumina, what are you doing and where are you going in such a bizarre outfit? You're such a beautiful girl. You have to learn to flaunt your beauty, not disguise. I'd love to continue this chat, really I would, but I'm in a mega hurry. Maybe later, okay? Okay. So apparently, uh... I don't know if that was an old man or old woman. Apparently they're encouraging, uh, Lemina to dress like a harlot. So that's cool, right? Who are these muscle-bound oaves blocking the entrance to Vane? They won't let me pass them to pick... to pick jello fruit. It's the peak of the jello fruit harvest season. But those brainless brutes don't care. Oh dear, oh my, oh goodness, whatever you do, whatever will I do? Oh, Lemina, you're here. I'm worried about what Borgen may have done to your mother. Very worried. I wanted to ask someone for help, but then I realized that everyone else is as scared as I am. Are you going to fight him? Do you need my help? I can swing a mean frying pan, you know. <laughs> oh, apparently that was her aunt. Calm down, auntie. I'm not going to let Borgen get away with anything. Okay. Uh, I'd like some upgrades first, if there's a weapon shop. Uh, I don't see any. Ms. Lamina, I have to say that Vane is a truly wonderful town. Perhaps my fave, uh, Ms. Lamina? Why is your face going through such painful-looking contortions? Vane is a city, a city! It's not a town, never has been, never will be. Vane is the city of history and tradition, got that? Whatever. That's probably what he's thinking. He's like, whatever, bitch. What's the matter with you, Lamina? Why are you upset? Oh, wait, I know. Your mother doesn't love you anymore, and you realize that you have no friends? What? It's not like that at all, but I don't have time to explain it to you with monosyllabic words. Yeah, whatever, Lamina. 
You're just the same spoiled brat you've always been. <laughs> I can a I can defeat Borgen by asking him to touch his toes. Yeah, that'd probably be a it's probably a speedrun strat right there. I might just try that, Frog. It's been a long time since I've seen Borgen around here, and he's somehow fatter than ever. <laughs> Did you know he dropped out of the Magic Guild? I've never found out the reason why. Probably because the guild cafeteria didn't have a large enough selection of desserts. <laughs> that was a good one. I've come from Arabia to see the sights here in historic vein. These ancient structures are, are full of romantic tales and rich history. But what was the deal with the fat guy who showed up a while ago? <laughs> he floated around here with his pack of followers like he owned the place. I have some business to take care of, but we'll definitely talk more about this later. Oh my god, just talking about the fat guy. Oh, hello, Miss Lamina. Um, do you remember the fire spell you taught me earlier? Um, I still don't know how to cast it. Is there an easier spell I could try instead? What are you talking about? That's the easiest spell of all. I was casting it in the womb. And don't you know that boys aren't supposed to give up? Now stop whining and start practicing. Okay. Well, he can do better than me if he does any kind of fire. I can't use magic, so... <laughs> this city is beautiful, but that floating fatso was grotesque. If there's ever the perfect candidate for a stomach stapping, stapling, he is it. Blech. <laughs> I should just listen to these guys talk shit about Borgen. It's hilarious. Hey, have you heard about the Magic Library? It's fun to play hide and seek because it's so big. I'm going there later with my friends, and we're going to play it all day long. Hey there, the Magic Library is not a playground. How many times do I have to tell you? Magic is classified into four basic systems that correspond to the elements. Wind, water, fire, and earth magic. The four elements that comprise the world. Did you hear that, Ms. Lamina? I can recite the theory of magic. You're a hard-working little guy, aren't you? If it were up to me, you'd be the mascot of the Magic Guild. Pooh. He's good at memorizing things, but he doesn't have any magic abilities at all. Well, I mean, he could still be a scholar. I mean, you know still teach history, you know? Shit. Game goes hard on the fat shaming. Yeah, if it was made nowadays, it'd get fucking cancel culture and, and what have you. So this is the library. Uh, I accidentally grabbed a book. God damn it, I wasn't trying to read. So, uh, yeah, let's grab that bromide here. It is second to last row, eastmost shelf. Okay, so second to last here, yeah, eastmost shelf. So it should be here. Poetry. What is the color of love? What is the shape of love? Where's my heart? I yearn to know the answers. Hear me, O oh goddess, beautiful and true. Tell me, teach me. But please do not charge me. Oh no, why did I leave my poem in this book? Don't read another word, stop! <laughs> Until I read the last line, I didn't even know it was Lamina. I think one of the pages is falling out of this... Hey! Alright, it's a picture of Lamina. Luckily we found this, now we know Lamina is a closet geek after all. Hey, I prefer to think of myself as studious. Besides, by reading, I learned how to be how to blast smart Alec rodents with fire. Wait a minute, Lamina. I was just kidding. Why don't we all calm down? Lamina? Let's then call you a freak and a geek. It could be worse. Oh, no. Ruby. What did you say? All right, that is it. Feel the burn, you big jerks. Lamina, perhaps you could take a little bit more time with that whole aiming thing. Bunch of goobers. Okay, let's check out this, I guess. This is called Sunset Breeze. I mean, I guess it's cute. I mean... I'm not really... I'm not really impressed. I'd rather look at Jeans again. Let me look at that again. She's the Dancing Queen, after all. Yeah, I love that. Uh, I... 
I love how, like, she's, like, looking it towards the back, but she has, like, her chest pushed forward. That's sick. Oh, no, it's Amaro. Everybody, hide your booties. Oh, yeah, how you doing, Amaro? You here and lurking? That's cool, that's cool. You playing this, you, you playing Astroneer with us a little bit this weekend, Amaro? Uh, I'm going to be going to Indiana Saturday, but I will be back. But yeah, we, uh, me and Dragon still kicking it with Astroneer. Um, I'm getting some spro I'm getting some prospect for some jobs, so it's, uh, it's not too bad. Now, when I actually messaged, uh, one of my, uh, former co-workers, uh, she was okay having me, or she was okay me having her as a reference, so that'd be nice, too. So, yeah. Not doing too bad. And I'm playing Lunar and having a blast, actually. Mostly because of all the fat jokes these guys keep talking about. What the hell's over here? Oh, okay, yeah, she she won't let us touch it. Damn. What do these dorks have to say? I'm the head librarian, welcome to the veins. Welcome to Vane's home of tomes. Our selection of literature is unmatched in all the world. Please take your time and read the few, through a few of our section selections. You'll find them enlightening. This place used to be called the Magic Library and only magicians could enter, but the premier of the Magic Guild, Lady Maria Ausa, turned into a public library. Anyone can come here, and frankly, I think it's much better that way. Well, a lot of knowledge to share. Oh, these might be a little out of date. I mean, technically this library is 300 years old. At least. Making order out of this mess of books is rough, but it's my job. I have to try and keep things straightened up the best I can. All my friends are late, but that gives me more time to decide what we'll play today. Hide and seek, maybe? Or bookshelf climbing? Or maybe a book search battle? Didn't your parents teach you that a library is not the place for fun and games? Well, I mean, it, it can be. Da da ha. I come here to get a book I did, I did. I want to have one wit, what, lots of uh, pictures? I like pretty pictures. I'm trying to get smart enough to use that magic stuff, but Pa don't believe in me. Boy, that guy needs some help. Shh, please keep the noise down. I'm trying to read. I'm reading every book in this library so I can become a great, a great scholar and impress the ladies. <laughs> Alright, I mean, you could just do that by learning from Ronfar, honestly. I'm learning about the goddess Althing and the blue star and the four dragons. Okay, have fun. Until a few years ago, I was completely literate. Lady Miria took time each day to teach me how to read. I felt like the entire world has opened up to me thanks to her. Maria is the kindest and most generous person I've ever met. Wow, that's pretty cool. I heard that a long time ago. Ordinary fo folks weren't allowed to come here and read. But now it's different. Everyone can read these books, regardless of their social, sh social status, with a few exceptions. That's right. See those books on the shelf over there? They belong to me. If you read them without paying the rental fee, you'll suffer the wrath of the guild. Alright, if you say so. Uh, yeah, I assume we cannot touch that chest over there in the corner too, right? Yeah. Although it is kind of amusing to see her, see her bitch about him. A little bit. Apparently there's a... Dekekeke book all the way at the top of this thing. Are these symbols? I can't read this book at all. Of course not, Hero. How are you supposed to read all those weird runes? There's no way that any of you will be able to read this ancient book. Because I can't read it either. I see. Well, that was, uh, that was a thing. Um... Uh, oh, yeah, I actually did see a weapon shop here. Maybe we can get a couple things. But I got some monies. I got some monies. We have a multitude of weapons for the Magically Challenged. Oh, that's me. That's me, all right. What do you got? Oh, damn. You have a, you have a thing called a rune sword? That sounds cool. <laughs> the Smash Saber that they have, it says, Thick as Ronfar, heavy as Borgen. <laughs> that might be the best, uh... It must be the, uh, might be the best description in the whole game of a weapon. So the rune sword is inscribed, is inscribed with mystic symbols? Was that... Oh wow, that's that's much better than what I have. It even raises my wisdom a little. 
95 to 112 attack? Shit. Well, what does the other one do? Oh, 95 to... 95 to 125? Shit. But that lowers a lot of things. Oh, and, and it gets my attack down to one? I'm, I'm not doing that, no. I'd rather still have two attacks. Give me the Rune Sword instead. Fuck that. Okay, so we got uh, a bunch of different staffs, which I think most of these... Yeah, I think all these uh, Lamina already has, actually. She has Flame, she has Wind, she has Water, Thunder, and Earth. Earthquake, so she has all those. Okay. Ritual Maze, that's for Ronfar for sure. 103 to 111, yeah, let's get that for him. Okay. There goes most of our fucking uh, supplies now. Let's sell the old shit. Oh yeah, let's sell that golden mace too while we're at it. Sell that. Sell those two maces. We'll keep the other staffs. Still sell the shield. So that armor, so that iron helm, so that, so that hairpin. Okay. Should be good now. Let's see what time is it? It's 11. Um, I assume like the... It'd be kind of cool to take down Borg and I assume he's a boss or something like that. Okay, here's the armor shop. Miss Lamina, so wonderful to see you. It's been a long time since our last chat. Sit down for a cup of tea with a nosy old man. Man, tea actually sounds kind of good right now, not gonna lie. I mean, I still have that fucking shy tea shit. Maybe I'll have some. Sorry, sir, but I'm in a hurry. We'll have tea some other time, I promise. Okay. Armor shop. My armor will protect its wearer regardless of whether or not he wields magical power. Well, I'd hope so, otherwise I'm getting the fuck out of here. I already own the steel shield. Magic gauntlet? I mean, that is good. I mean, I don't know, is it worth a thousand silver, though? I'd rather make sure I have this platinum armor. Oh, silk dress? Doesn't Jean already have that? Okay, yeah. Magician robe? Is that on Limina? I should probably get that for her. <laughs> Borgen's visit is one of utmost gravity. His gravity. Zing. Well, the good thing is, I actually have most of this shit already. Like, I have the soul bandana, I have the steel helmet, I have the silk dress. I have the steel shield. Uh... Let's definitely get that platinum ar armor for hero. Oh yeah, for sure. 116 defense to 130. Uh, that's that's a no-brainer right there for 2800. Yeah, get that. So that iron shit. Uh, 74, 75, huh? How good is the hairpin? Well, it's 600 each. Why not? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did, what did that lower? Magic defense from 59 to 51? Oh. I mean, honestly, I'd rather they, I'd rather they just keep their magic defense if possible. Probably get them both a gauntlet then, because that should protect. Yeah, fuck it. I'll, I'll get them both a magic gauntlet instead then. Okay. 
sell those two uh, silver ones or whatever those were. Yeah, I sell those two. Uh, yeah, I actually have seen that frog. That was a pretty good, uh, pretty good segment. The Family Guy episode where Brian put a couple of small objects in orbit around Peter, and he was like teaching him, like he's so fucking fat, he has a gravitational pull. That was a pretty good gag. I remember that being a a pretty early Family Guy episode too. I think. Like when it was actually like funny. That's pretty much all we would want. We'll get the Magician Rope for Lamina, I guess. Because, I mean, that boosts everything. Boosts Wisdom up by 1, boosts Defense up by, like, 9. Boosts Magic Defense up by, by 1. Yeah. We'll get that for her. Get rid of that Fur Robe, I guess. We, we probably kept that Fur Robe from the, the uh, Mountain Village. Okay, 4,000. I think I'm good with that. Maybe I'll go to the item shop and buy some, uh... Buy some herbs. Yawn. Oh, how I love dozing off in the middle of the day. Naps are tiny slices of heaven. But I had the strangest dream about a giant frog dressed in the finest robes. I always have bizarre dreams when I enter the Magic Guild. I don't know why, though. Well, maybe you're a seer. Maybe you, maybe you see into the future. Or maybe he's just thinking about Frog. I don't know. Welcome, one and all, to the famous Black Rose item shop. Well, do you actually sell... Oh my god. Do you actually sell Starlights? 2,000 silver? Damn, that's expensive, bro. That's nuts. At least I know that they have it in the game, in a shop. Let's buy some herbs, though. Uh, oh, fuck it, let's buy enough for 15 herbs, that seems reasonable. I should probably buy some healing nuts, too, yeah. That's probably it. Probably. How's it going, Grandmaster Player 4? Finally, I hope you understand that you wasn't here because you, too famous for Twitch with over 22 million viewers from the past three months before. <laughs> oh, you know, it's it's okay, man. You know, when you get to, when you get to be so famous and cool, you, you know, it, you know, shit just kind of happens. You know, what, what can I say? <laughs> 22 million viewers. Jesus Christ. I can't even imagine what like the ad revenue would 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 that be. Like just like the pre-roll ads or whatever. I mean it's it still amazes me you can make any money at all from this shit. Uh did they not have a goddess statue here? Cuz I don't see a thing to heal or anything. Oh shit. Oh, I never went to... What the hell is this thing? What's this place? Oh, it's just some guy here. When I was little, I lost both of my parents in an accident, and I had to live by myself. I could wander into the forest near my house, and I would cry until I ran out of tears. Then one day, as I was crying, the forest went dark, and I was enveloped in shadow. I looked up and saw a beautiful white bird. Beautiful and huge. It filled my field of vision. Interesting. My husband and I have been married for many years, and I only have one regret. We were, able to, we were never able to start a family. We tried many times, but it wasn't meant to be. We wanted a big family, just like the one we had when we grew up at the top of Tabit's Peak. What? We were a family of orphans, if that makes any sense, raised by, raised by a boy named Nal. 
Oh my god. So, Nahal's been taking care of these orphans for, I guess, at least a century? As old as this dude is, and this, uh, this one woman? The giant white bird flew away from me, and I chased after it as fast as I could. The longer I chased it, the deeper into the forest I went, until I suddenly realized that I was lost. I turned around, and there was a boy standing right in front of me. We introduced ourselves and became fast friends. This, the boy's name was Nall. And he told me that he lived at the top of Tabbit's Peak. After my husband and I moved here, we paid a visit to the Magic Library to research Tabbit's Peak. We found a book, book which said that the peak didn't exist until about a thousand years ago. Huh. It also said that the peak is really the tru is really the rusted remains of the grindery that blasted Vane out of the sky. Oh! That would make sense. Because I noticed there was a lot of kind of like infrastructure, like kind of like into the landscape, you know? Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. It's 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 been like, um, uh, you know, been wrought away by Father Time. Huh. The book said that some people think the story of Tabin's Peak is a fairy tale, but we don't. We grew up there, you know, and we had many strange experiences. When we learned Tabin's Peak was the grindery, many of those experiences suddenly made sense. Yeah. Yeah, it's really interesting. Huh. Okay, maybe it was a thousand years after all? I mean, holy shit. It's actually kind of sad when you think about it in hindsight, like, Nall's been without, you know, Alex and Luna and, and the gang for centuries and centuries. Like, uh, it's actually kind of heartbreaking, to tell you the truth. Because they've, uh, long since passed away. Or, uh, I, I guess with the exception of Luna, I guess she just got, uh, reincarnated, right? I missed your comment again? Channeling Frog from Chrono Trigger? Yeah, he might be. That one dude that had that vision. Or dream. Frog and, Frog, Frog and me are famous on Twitch. I guess not famous enough. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm still working, you know, 9 to 5 and all that shit. That's, I mean, that's fine. I'll be honest, I don't think I'd enjoy, like, playing video games for, like, fucking 10 hours a day. To tell you the truth. They yeah, officially hit the 20 hour mark of playtime, so that's cool. Um, yeah, I, I want there to be a goddess statue here. With a chest there, we can't grab. Fuck off. Hi, Ms. Lamina. How are you? If we're really good, will you please tell us another story? Do you hear that, guys? Lamina tells stories to these children. Tell me, little guy, what kinds of stories does she tell you? Lamina tells a story of how to spend money without wasting it and how to hoard money in really good hiding places where no one will ever find it, and how to haggle down the price of anything. Well, aren't those just delightful tales? Yeah, they are. And I just remembered where the goddess statue is. It's over here. I don't know why it took this long to remember. But yeah, modeled it, done. Lamina, Lamina, you're back. Show me one of those magic tricks, please. Well, I have a special one that I've been saving, and it'll, it'll only cost don't tell me you're going to charge a kid to see one of your cheap tricks. <coughs> As I was about to say, it only cost you a big smile. How about it? Okay. Lamina is forever spoiling my daughter with the attention. I suppose they can relate to each other, as neither one of them have siblings. I just don't want my daughter to be spoiled into adulthood, or I'll have to disown her. Okay. Great. This is my home, the mansion of the Magic Guild of Vane. These walls are filled with the history of our world. Well, isn't that great? This place sure is big, but it's kind of run down, isn't it, Hero? I mean, look at that hole in the roof. And that sign over there is broken. The Magic Guild is so prestigious, why can't they afford a carpenter? Because they're poor, dude. Hey there, kiddo. How does that money collection for Vane's future going? 
Are you saving your silver? Sorry, no time for talk. My mother's in big trouble. Although if you have a few coins to spare, I'd be glad to take them off your hands. Yeah, because that looks like shit. A long time ago, when Vane was still floating in the sky, the people who lived here never looked up and up into the heavens. They always looked down upon the people of the earth, figuratively and literally. It wasn't until Vane was knocked to the ground by the Magic Emperor that the people of Vane looked to the skies. And it was only then that they learned to appreciate the, be the beauty of the blue star. Well, at least somebody learned something. Bargain suddenly appeared in the middle of Vane, using the magic of teleportation. That's one of the most difficult spells to use. So how was Borgen able to cast it? And how has he been able to teleport all four of his chins at once? Now that's, a, that's a good question. Maybe we could ask him. Yeah, I doubt this is going to be a short thing, but I, I might as well see this Borgen guy at least. Like I'm actually about ready to call it for tonight, but uh, I don't know which one he's in. I guess just straight down the middle. That's where the goddamn uh, Grand Hall is, right? Okay, that must be uh, that must be that one lady, Maria or Miria. It's been a long time, Borgen. To what do we owe the ah pleasure of this visit? You're, uh, you're the perfect. You're, you're you are the picture of mannerly perfection as always. You know, since this guy's such a fat fuck, I think I'm gonna give him. Um, I think I'm gonna give him Nash's voice. I think that sounds appropriate. How did I do it again? However, Vane has drifted into chaos since the guild fell apart. You know it's true. Lowly simpletons who know nothing of the way of magic roam the once majestic streets. Disgrace and despair all, are all that remain of the Magic City. How utterly pathetic. Then why, may I ask, have you gone to the place where you hold it in such low self in, in, in such low esteem? Ah, Miria, you never want to skirt the issue. I confess that I came here for selfish reasons. Yeah, imagine the MP cost to teleport Borgen. Fuck me. I can't even imagine. Yeah, he definitely looks like a fat fucker. This city no longer suits a woman of your statue. I have come to take you to Neo Vane. We will be very happy together, you and I. Uh huh. Oh, that flying cesspool has no right to come in here like he owns the place. So apparently, uh. I guess that kind of regal looking woman is, uh. is, uh. I mean his mom. I didn't think she'd look like that, honestly. Like, she actually looks like she's like a ruler or, or something. I don't know. Lemina, my dear, you've returned. Welcome home. And what's this? You brought some new friends with you. How wonderful. You have so few friends, darling, that I'm delighted to see you making new ones. Well, when you're a greedy fucker, it's no surprise to me. I am Lemina's mother, Miria. Welcome to Vane and to the mansion of the Magic Guild. These aren't just a friend of mine, Mother. They're also candidates to join the guild. I'm gathering new candidates every day, and I'm reviving the guild someday, and I'll revive the guild someday soon. You wish this game has booze from them for them to drink? I, I wish I had booze for me to drink. <laughs> like, fuck the kids. Give the booze to me. Well, okay, I guess Ron Farr can have some booze. I mean, he's, he's fucking 45, so... Oh, Lamina, did you greet Borgen, our honored guest? Borgen is one of the four heroes of Althena. He worked very hard and became the leader of Neo Vane. Mother, why aren't you angry at Borgen for storming into our home without being invited? Borgen might be ill-mannered at times, but he's certainly allowed to visit. Pooh, I don't understand you, Mother, not at all. She's probably making a deal. Oh, look what we have here. Lamina, junior premier of the guild. Remember me? I'm Borgen, creator of Neovane and the most powerful wizard I in the world. I don't know about that. Ring a bell, dumpling? I thought it might bring back a few fond memories. <laughs> oh, I remember. I could never forget a face as obesely grotesque as yours. I told you Vane was off limits. Get out of here!
Uh, okay, that's it. But yeah, he has a kind of a job of the hut voice going on or something. And his face is pretty fucking fat, though. I'm still gonna give him the Nash voice, I don't give a fuck. It's such a shame that when places of former glory are neglected by their own creators. I'm afraid that's exactly what has happened to Vane. Its time is almost over. Surely you agree, Lamina. Absolutely not. Vane is not destined to disappear at all. I'm going to restore it. Calm down, Lamina. Listen to what Morgan has to say. You know, once you get past the surface, he's very much like you. Mother, how can you say such a terrible thing? Borgen is ugly and awful and evil. Why are you defending him? Has he cast a spell on you? <laughs> I do not submit my power for your approval, dear girl. <coughs> I am absolutely sovereign of my destiny now. I will do as I wish. Behold! Please excuse my actions, Lady Miria, but I must do this. Uh, he just, he just kidnapped, uh, her mom. So, yeah. Mother! Wasn't that delicious? And all it took was a simple wave of my hands. Poof, mommy's gone. <laughs> what have you done with my mother? I demand that you return her this minute. <laughs> and I demand that you think before you speak, dear girl. Think of the power I possess, Lima. Lamina. I could squash you like a cream-filled cupcake. Of course, he'd make a fatty thing like that. No, your mother will not be coming back. She will rule with me in Neo Vane. And oh, if you feel the need to visit, please don't hesitate to visit Pentagulia. We'll be certain to roll out the dead carpet for you. No, Borgen, I'm serious. Come back here this instant. And they decided to yeet. Yeet out of here. Okay. Oh, Mother, I can't believe I let you down. I don't have enough magical strength to qualify as a bathroom attendant. Let alone the premiere of the Magic G Guild of Fade. What was I thinking? I can't even save the person I love the most. How can I hope to restore an entire city? Oh, Mother, I'm a failure! Okay, I guess she's gonna have a, a good old cry fest like a lot of teenage girls. Cool. Aw, oh, damn. <laughs> so even when she's not in your party, um, Ruby's going to be like when you're trying to touch a, a treasure chest. Uh, Hero, I think Lamina will get a bit upset if she finds out you're in her stuff. It's like, bro, way to bust my balls. Uh, probably same for this chest here. Yeah, whatever. Now you know her voice? She sounds like Lucy in the later Peanuts cartoons? Uh... I guess a little bit. I mean, I... My only experience with the Peanuts cartoons is the, uh... Is the, uh, the... The holiday special... Holiday specials, you know, like Halloween... Well, really only three of them. Halloween, uh, Christmas, and the, uh... Thanksgiving. Like, those are really the, the ones I remember. Like, I know they had one for 4th of July, I'm pretty sure. And, and I know they had, like, stuff about, like, the summer. I don't know. Same annoying girl that bullies Charlie. Yeah, that is it is the same girl. So this Eggman freak wants that? To marry this girl? A giraffe dildo with a golden sheath. Yes, dragon. Say, Chief, I think you should have a few words with Lamina. I was going to say something about you being our leader and having to take charge. But the truth is that the rest of us kind of, kind of, are kind of scared of her. Good luck. Thanks, Ronfar, for nothing. Yeah, I'd expect Ronfar to have, you know, the big dick to be able to handle her that that didn't sound right at all that didn't sound that didn't sound right what do you want hero have you come to laugh at me for being so weak 
Sure, g go ahead and laugh. It must be worth a thousand yucks. Huh. Lemina's you know surviving the magic guild, but she's the only member. I don't even have the power to fix the leaky roof of the guild mansion. My mother knew my mother knew I was too weak to do anything, Hero. That's why she told me to accept the magic guild the way it is. You agree with her, don't you? Uh yeah, it's not like that. Vane is a wonderful city with a rich history of great leaders. I think that you will be the next great leader of Vane. I believe in your dream, Lamina. I believe you have the strength and the courage to make it real. Someday you will restore this place to its former glory. Someday the Magic Guild of Vane will once again be the center of, the, of this world. And someday everyone will be know that it was your vision which made it all possible. I've never heard such a, a load of horse blasting on my life, Hero. Is this your idea of a pep talk? Can you tell it's my first? Uh, yeah, but I do appreciate the effort. Thanks, Hero. Alright, cool. I guess. Hey, Lamina. There's no shame in being the only member of the Magic Guild. There are certain situations where being the only member can be quite pleasant, in fact. Think of it this way. When you have nothing, you have nothing to lose. All you can do is win. And I'll join you as a member of the Guild. That is, if you'll have me. I'll support your dream any way I can. Because that's what friends do for each other. Friend Friendship! I don't understand the people of this world very well. But I do know that you are wonderful for trying to carry out your given duty. We're all here for you, Lemina. Now let's go and save your mom from the floating fatty. My only thoughts this entire time have been about how to get you all into vain. Into the guild. But you... You've all concerned about me... Me personally. I don't deserve... I don't deserve to have friends like you. I'm not crying, by the way. I just have something in my eye. I must have looked really pathetic, but I'm alright now, so let's get moving. We're headed for the holy city of Pentagulia, where we'll find Borgen and rescue Mother. That lard butt is going to pay dearly for putting me through this, I assure you. I won't be satisfied until I've squeezed every last silver coin out of his rolls of fat. <laughs> now this is the Lamina we've come to know and love. Well, we know her, but I'm not sure if we're ready to live, if we're ready to love her. Anyway, let's make our way to the holy city. Thank fuck for that. Uh, we still have to get that uh, bromide from that one dude around the, around the, what do you call it? Uh, the transmission circle. We need the right tools if we're going to rescue Mother from Borgen. Before we go to the Holy City, I should open the treasure chest of Vane. I'll even let you guys use whatever I find for a very reasonably rental fee. Oh, what the heck, I'll let you use them for free. After all, you are helping me save my mother. That's what I thought, motherfucker. 96 smithing, nice dragon. I expect 99 before you go to sleep tonight. You owe me no peanuts from X-Men, Thanksgiving, and Halloween, too. Yeah. Like, I know they had, like, uh, like other episodes. Like, like for the summer, I think they were at, like, a summer camp or something, weren't they? And I'm pretty sure they had, like, an Arbor Day one, and, uh... Uh... Did they have an Easter one? I think they had an Easter. I don't quite remember. I mean, it's actually 16, go figure. So barely legal. So the freak don't want to marry her. He wants the MILF. I mean, she looked pretty alright. Like, I'd probably bang her. She's probably not that much older than, than I am. I mean, let's see. 15-year-old. Oh, shit. Uh, actually, she might be Ron Farr's age. She might be. Huh. I think he's better off with a daughter, maybe. If it was DXP, maybe. But it's not, so go fuck yourself. Eh. Go fuck yourself. Eh. Oh, yeah, we want to open up all the chests in vain. My favorite part. Apparently, we got Lamina's purse. Uh, okay. 
It says usually empty. Okay, I, I was just curious if there was any money in there. I don't know what fuck a dusty puss because he can't get none. Oh man, that's that's the worst insult I've ever heard, Dragon. Oh my god. I think I just found more uh, poetry there. Maybe FML is getting off on Ruby? No, I'm not. I got a Gorgon doll? The fuck? Alright. We off frog. I, I would take a milk any day over uh, a baby red dragon. For sure. Oh, I got a seal crest. Okay. Monster's lips are sealed. What? I think he was trying to make a pun there. Well, that's another crest I got. So that's cool. I think that's six total. Green haired chick looking good. I guess you're talking about Jean. I mean, she always looks good. And I got a Thundercrest. Nice. What a shocking discovery. Indeed. Indeed. Oh, yeah. So, getting some uh, decent shit so far. Uh, trying to remember where there's another chest. Was there one in here? Oh, that's right. There's a uh, there's a couple in the library, right? The Gorga doll is actually an accessory. Oh, the the seal crest that it mutes monsters. That makes sense because it can't say spells then. Precious Alsa Clan heirloom. Well, let's see if it's actually an accessory. Oh no, it is. Um, it's actually not too bad. So I guess it goes in the ring slot. Okay. Kind of feel like uh, maybe Lamina should be carrying it. I mean, is it better than the necklace she has on? Or the barrier ring? Okay, yeah. Gorgon doll is actually better than the uh, whatever that is. Goss's necklace. The doll gives like six more wisdom and five more magic defense and lowers luck just by one. Yeah, she can have her little dolly, I guess. I might as well throw this um, accessory on, I don't know, I guess Ronfar. Give him seven HP every turn, sir, sure. For you, you might be, you might, you might go for the milk too if they're like still hot in their 30s to 40s too. And then you have more crests, see what the combos do. Yeah, I'll have to fuck around with that. Because let's see, I have uh, I have like six or seven crests at this point. Unless there's another one in here. Silver light. I mean, that's I'll definitely not say no to that. Silver light there. Yeah, there's another chest over here. Angel ring. That's cool. That's the one that revives you, right? I need to keep an eye on that. Wait, where are you? Yeah, revives where from a faint, yeah. Okay. Dragon needs a nice 20 something. Uh, yeah, as of this morning, uh, Dragon is hitched. So, yeah. I feel like there was one more chest around Bane, but I don't. Oh, there's one by the goddess statue on there. Yeah. Oh no, I already grabbed that one. Oh, okay. Uh, 
Uh, I don't think there was any chests and... Yeah, okay, there was one right here. Thieves' staff obtained? I have no idea what that does. I have no idea what that does. I might experiment with that. Yeah, I think that's all of them. So yeah, cool. Uh, one last thing. Gonna get out of this place and get that bromide from uh, that pitchfork dude. Hopefully they're still there. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Yeah, still there. Hey, Pitchfork dude. Hello, friend. I see that we both have something in common. We both collect beautiful bromides. Damn straight, bruh. You have a decent collection, but you don't have all of them yet. Heck, only one man ever has. Tell you what, here's a freebie from one collector to another. Come back here and show me your collection every once in a while, okay? Take care now. Huh, we got Mia's bromide straight from the hottie heaven. We'll be the judge of that, though. God damn it. Let's check it out. Apparently, this is warm tea, good read. Uh, I think I've seen this one before in the first game. But, I mean, it's it's cute. It's cute. Oh, yeah. Another bromide. What kind of staff? I got a thieves staff. And yeah, I have no idea what that would do in battle. Like, maybe increase the drop for certain things? I, that's the only thing I could think of. Or, or unless it, like, steals an item from certain enemies. Works like Steel does in Final Fantasy games or Mug. But uh, anyway, I think that'll be good for tonight, people. Like I said, I only wanted to go... I only wanted to go a couple hours, so... Now I gotta look for someone to raid here. Oh, that friend of mine, he's playing Gears 5. Yeah, why not? We're going to raid Singin' Hen. He's playing Gears 5. We'll probably lurk there for a bit while I'm doing some ringscape, so... I already decided, Dragon. I made a decision. Get more viewers? Uh... I highly doubt that, to be honest. Maybe tomorrow, if I'm actually, uh, streaming in, in the evening. Friday evening. But yeah. I'll, uh... See you guys tomorrow or whatever. Later.